The final review is going to be Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class and Fernac Universe Shards. So stay tuned. <laughs> It's Bill here, and today we're going to do a review on our new Legacy United Deluxe Class and Fernac Universe Shard. <clears throat> First, take a look at the package. There is Shard in his robot mode. There he is in his uh, robot mode twice. There is the 40 years anniversary photo or uh, poster. Legacy United logo. UPC. <clears throat> 13 steps from robot to helicopter. And he's an armorizer, so you can uh, load up gears with them. Looks like he's got some some spinning blades. Uh, looks like the top of the helicopter has a shield. All that good stuff. All right, so I already opened this guy once <clears throat> just to do a quick short on him. <clears throat> but now we're getting into the review. Okay, so here is the bag. And in the bag, we get <clears throat> four sword helicopter blades. And they look they all look to be very similar in design. So you got four of those. I love these bags with the Autobot symbol. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and you got two leg pieces, shoulder pieces. I don't know yet. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> Looks to me like a thrill, three millimeter port. And these are the exact same things. <clears throat> and then you have these two. Not really sure what they are yet, but you know what? We'll figure it out. <clears throat> Here is the shard character. Oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> and he's, uh, <clears throat> you can see the helicopter basically in the back. But let's see, one, two, Oops, they already knocked. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he's already falling apart. <clears throat> All right, so here is our figure. Uh, let's just put that big into place. All right, let's just stand him up. Where'd the other arm go? Oh, in front of my camera. But it's okay, folks. He's an armorizer, he's supposed to do that. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> let's get the book out before we do anything else, <clears throat> and let's look at the book. Infernac Universe Shard, Transformers. Okay, so, <clears throat> why can't I open the paper up? Um, okay. So, <clears throat> right off the bat, you've got the two swords on the front of his hand, on the back of his hand, and these two square pieces go on the arms. So... Let's do that right now. Okay, so we got front, front. Yeah, we should be doing this for later. But you know what? We're just going to do this right with the, uh, since we're opening them up. So we've got, uh, why don't this go on? This, this hand doesn't want to work. There we go. So we got that going on. And then we got these. Huh. And we got these on his arms. But you know what, though? This little thing sticks out. That is so weird. Why would they do that? It doesn't fit. There you go. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Well, that's kind of weird. He doesn't really fit that great. All right, so. <clears throat> There's the first shard. <clears throat> All right. Oh, you know what? I think those were the other pieces. Let's try the other pieces. Let's look at the... <clears throat> huh. Let's try these. Like I said, I just opened this figure. So I like to do these right out of the bat. Because you'll get them just like I get them. And this guy is not doing too good. So, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna work around it there so if we put it like that now we have this guy yeah these are the the 3d ones and then you could put all the swords in the back of him that's kind of weird and then the back of it is there's how you take gears and you can armorize gears but we'll do that once we get there all right so let's take these off for now we'll unplug these guys <clears throat> Usually, when they come, like, mistransformed, they usually show you something. Oh, that's how you do it. You got a little rotor back here. So, you're just going to snap that in. And then snap that in. You could hold it as a handle or as a sword. So, you can do that. I guess like that. And then, I don't know, you can't do much with this tail. Uh, this guy looked pretty cool. I always wanted this guy. And I went on Target.com and like, holy crap, he's available. So what they don't tell you in the instruction booklet is you got the two flat. These are for the feet and the arms. So, see there's the feet. We're just going to put this on the feet or on the leg. We're going to put this guy on the leg. Hey, I try to make these reviews as real as possible. There. And that, see, this goes around that. See how it fits? So it's, there you go. Oops, his arm came off again. All right, and that is our shard. All right, so we're just going to undo all these, and we're going to take a look at just the figure now. Oh, that is Jazz, my Autobot dog. All right, so let's look at our figure. Um, I don't know. Do I like him like this? Or do we? Uh, I'm around, it just he looks weird with those hands. I guess that's how you do the figure, though. So we'll just put these back on. To me, that doesn't look right. But <clears throat> all right, so <clears throat> we'll back up a little. Whoops. First, take a look at his head. He's got a cool-looking face. I love, like, he's got two little ears, and he got the yellow. So his head... Oh, light piping, too. It's clear. Cool. Uh, 360 degrees. <clears throat> no up or down movement at all. And the arms go 360 degrees. They go out that far. They rotate at the elbow. And 360 degrees of the elbow and wrist rotation. Wow. And then these just pop off for armorizing. Let's look at the other one. Again, you got 360 degrees. It goes out 90 degrees. It turns here. And I like the, it's even got the arms, the, the wrist rotation. Wrist rotation doesn't seem like much, but I don't know why most figures don't have especially on a deluxe size. All right, <clears throat> waist. Now waist, it only goes this far and this far. Then you get everything hitting it. So you really can't do much. And he does have a backpack, but we'll get to that later. Okay, feet forward 90 degrees, almost 90 in the back, <clears throat> almost a full split. Now the knee is more than 90. And the knee rotates, pretty cool. And then, of course, you can take the, the feet off. And then you got the, wow, you got that for transformation. And it's got the side rocker. Oh, I like that, too, how it rocks. It stays still, but then you just move the feet. And the other one, again, you got the same. And um, let's take a look at that back. Um... Looks like you can't take it apart. You can just move like the tail back like that. And um, so, not too bad. You got some hollow spaces here. 
but you got this big backpack which is part of the, the, the figure itself. Now this is our third, I think. We've had Magnus, we got Boulder, Cla Boulder Clash, and um, we've got a Magnus recolor coming out soon. So, and this is our second deluxe shard. All right, now let's bring some of those out, do some um, comparisons, and we can transform this guy. Okay, in our first robot to robot comparison, we're going to bring out Magnus, another of the Rock Lords, the Infernac universe. Now, this is a deluxe size, and then we got a core class, Boulder Clash, which was our first um, Infernac universe. <clears throat> then we're going to bring out our Legacy Evolution Gears, because later on we're going to combine. Um, shard with gears <clears throat> and then we're going to bring in the helicopters studio series drift all right that's a deluxe uh we've got combiner wars uh blades okay part of the protect the bots <clears throat> and we got this is the voyager springer not the leader class that's coming out soon <clears throat> And then we've got our leader class, Triple Changer, Autobot, Sandstorm. So we're going to have some Rock Lords, and we're going to have some Helicopters. All right, now let's transform. All right, first we're going to do is we're going to take off all of the weapon blades, all of the thrusters, and we're going to take all these apart. And so we're going to put those to the side. Okay, so first we're going to do is we're going to take the arm and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. So now you've got the inside of the arm facing out. So that's 180 degrees. <clears throat> okay? And we're going to do the feet now. Take the feet, we're going to fold the feet down, rotate it 90 degrees like that. So now they're facing outward and we're going to connect them. <clears throat> okay? So next we're going to do is we come up here. We're going to <clears throat> detach the arms. Whoops, not literally, but they're tabbed in right there. So we're gonna do that with the arms, <clears throat> okay? And then we're gonna take the head, we're gonna pull the head up, and that's gonna go get locked in right there, okay? It locks in <clears throat> like that. Okay, so now if you did it right, you've got this little peg right here by the tail, or by the um, helicopter blade, and it's going to go into this notch here. So as you rotate this up, you're going to have this tab going to slide into that hole <clears throat> like that. Okay? So that's one side done. Now the other side, again, you're going to have this part of the arm go into this tab. And this tab's going to go in here, and then this tab's going to go right here. So, you got that tab in there, this tab's in here, and the arm tab's in. Okay? So next, you're going to take the waist, and you're going to extend it like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this back like that, and then fold this up. Now, when you fold this up, you've got these two tabs, I'm going to go into these two slots. And they're going to have this long tab right here is going to slide into here. So you got two tabs and two and uh, that big slot. All right. So you just fold this in. Everything's in like that. Everything's in like that. And then what you want to do is take the blades and just use those. Are they five millimeter pegs? Yeah, five millimeter pegs. <clears throat> and you just put them into a circle <clears throat> and do the blades. And then these, <clears throat> it's pretty neat though, because these are, you'll, you see you have that little plastic sticking out here. It's gonna fit right there. So a five millimeter peg goes in here and that fits right into that little notch. 
So they only go on one side. <clears throat> you can't switch sides with this. So you put that there. And now you are done. And that is Shard in his uh, helicopter mode. And I think it's looked pretty cool. I like the colors. I like the texture. Yeah, I kind of wish the tail would have come apart. But for right now, we're going to look at him as a helicopter mode. And the spins, uh, blades spin pretty good. They'll, that'll show up good on the camera. And uh, he's not bad. So you got a little cockpit right here. You got little windows up here. <clears throat> yeah, not too much on the side. You got, yeah, you got this part right here, but it doesn't look too bad. Underneath here, you can see the legs of the thighs, but no head. Uh, up top looks pretty good. I do love the way it's textured. It is like textured all the way around, and I do love the colors. And again, now, if you want to get the um, blast effects, you can put them here. So it looks like he's shooting. <clears throat> I should have got two of the same, but <clears throat> there he is. Psh, psh, psh. Now, I kind of wish you could have. <clears throat> Let's try something. We're going to try to put these <clears throat> on the opposite side. No, they won't fit. <clears throat> All right. Let's try to put this upside down. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> they really don't fit upside down, but you can at least peg them in. And then you can put these like that, and it looks like whoosh, he's got thrusters. <clears throat> so, and then these you can just rotate again. <clears throat> so, and they're like missile launchers. Um, and he's pretty cool. Um, no landing gear. <clears throat> no landing gear. That's got, I guess this could be a little pig right here, and he's got these two right there. But he sits pretty good. <clears throat> Nothing back here. He's got the two tail fins in the back. <clears throat> which is pretty neat, unique. And they're not even the same size, so they're not symmetrical. But, and the knives. So all in all, I do think, I dig him. I think he's a pretty cool helicopter. <clears throat> and there's a wasted 5mm <clears throat> peg there. But, <clears throat> but, now remember, let's, <clears throat> let's take these off. If you want to take these off, <clears throat> now, let's see if, I've never done this before, I, I just thought, I, you know, let's try it now. <clears throat> let's put these here, oh, that looks, pro oh, I like that. So you take them off, you can put them on the opposite side here. <clears throat> so now, you can take <clears throat> the blast effects. <clears throat> How about that, huh? And that looks pretty cool. It doesn't even look that bad, neither from the front. <clears throat> or, let's see. I know, let's see. These go here. This goes here. Can you put that here? <clears throat> if you want, you can put them like a... Now, that looks good. I like that. Kind of like a C. Uh, that actually does look better, I think, in my opinion. <clears throat> And then, <clears throat> so you can do it different ways. You can take these off, and then you got a little place for it to be lower. So that looks more like other helicopters. And they go on the same side as this peg. And there's even a peg here. <clears throat> so we'll put this back in here. Let's put them all back together again. Whoops. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Duh. I'm looking for this guy right here and he's plugged in. <clears throat> Let's put this guy back together and we're gonna do some vehicle comparisons. And I got some pretty cool ones. Alright. First we're gonna bring out the Rock Lords. <clears throat> We've got Magnus and we got Boulder Clash. I think not Boulder Crash. I think it's Boulder Clash. So now we have our two our Rock Lords so far. We've got a core class and two deluxes. And once you know it, the new one is just a recolor of this guy with a different head. Which, kind of disappointing, they could have made a different one. 
But those are these guys. <clears throat> this is the Legacy Gears, which we're going to combine him with later. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to look at the movie Drift. So, I mean, this is a cool... I love this helicopter. A little tricky to transform. But uh, scale-wise, eh, I don't think they fit because the guy would be about that big. But that is the movie Drift. <clears throat> And this is first aid from our um, blades from Combiner Wars. So that's how these two guys <clears throat> match up. And then we've got our triple changer. So we've got big old. Now this is a Voyager. Yes, I know the new one's a liter size just because the parts. But <clears throat> here is Springer. Now I love the green and the yellows. But I kind of think that Dash wears it a little better. So that is Springer. <clears throat> and then we've got our newest dude, um, Sandstorm. Another triple changer. And he's a big helicopter. <clears throat> so let's do our triple changers again. So we got all Autobot. Here's all. Now I do have Spinister, but I snapped his leg off when I was making this video when I was getting ready to make this video I broke Spinister's foot yes you, you fold it down and I broke him off so I don't have Spinister but there is our Autobot our Autobot helicopters <clears throat> and that is it for the helicopters now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transform him back, then we're going to take him apart and put him in gears, okay? So hold on. Now, something I always do is I always reverse transform him. Just because it's always easier one way than the other way, and plus on this guy, since he's an armorizer, it makes sense to transform him back to the robot mode, <clears throat> so we can armorize gears. <clears throat> Alright, so, take all the weapons off. <clears throat> we'll take these off too. We probably don't need to, but we are. Okay, so now we're going to undo the bottom first. There we go. We could separate these, rotate these, and flip the feet up. Okay, so now we're going to work on the arms. So we're going to pull these out. So we're going to untab this, this, and that. Untab this. All right. Then we're going to do is bring this up once, and then up this, and then we're going to fold the waist in. You'll have this peg will go into that hole, like that. Now, when you bring the chest down, you've got this peg right here. I don't know how good you can see that. It's going to go into right here. So, <clears throat> that just foops in like that. Okay, then we're going to fold the arms up. Again, you got that tab is going to go in this hole, like that. <clears throat> and then rotate the arms 180 degrees. <clears throat> and now you have back to robot mode. <clears throat> okay? And then we're going to put these weapons to the side for now. Okay, now we're going to armorize gears. So, <clears throat> first thing you want to do, take the arms off. <clears throat> and put them to the side. Now we're going to pull the legs down at the knee. And this we're left with. And I kind of wish they would have put that peg in there. But this whole thing is useless. <clears throat> so just put that to the side. Pull these down. <clears throat> pull this up. Pull this down. <clears throat> Separate these. Now we're going to bring in gears. Okay, first step. <clears throat> We're going to pull the arms up like that, and then rotate the guy around. <clears throat> and then we're going to take the arms and use this peg back here, or that port. <clears throat> so that's in that one. <clears throat> and that <clears throat> is in this one. And then we're going to even take Gears' gun and put it in his hand like that. <clears throat> I know, <clears throat> it looks funny, but <clears throat> let's just bear with us now. So, now we're going to take these, okay, and it actually has you put them like, which makes no sense. 
it wants you to put the legs in there. So, let's see, like that, and put these in. And which, they're not working. Okay, now, here are the instructions. Just so you know I'm not going crazy. You put the things in the feet. Okay, the two spikes up like that. So when you try that with this guy, it doesn't work. <laughs> So what we're going to do instead, we're going to call an audible, and we're just going to put them on the bottom of the feet. Okay? Because like, here, look, it doesn't fit. No matter what you do, they're not going to get it because this, this, it's too big. So we're just going to call an audible and do that. Okay? I'm not sure how they got these in. I don't know how they got these in right here, but I don't know. So, and then we're going to take, let's see, we're going to take this one and we're going to put one of these, let's see, sideways and one in front like we did before okay and let's get the other one so he's got to hold it in his hand so we want to go out like this so he's gonna hold it in his hand like that now that doesn't look right yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to take his hand and we're going to do one in the bottom of his hand and this in the top of his hand. So we've got this right here. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the legs. <coughs> Now this is weird. We're going to do the same thing with the legs. So we're going to do that like that. That like that. So I, I don't understand. I don't understand what it is. But that's what it is right there. Now, yep, in his hand. And he's got, here, we'll do it like that. So that is armorizing gears. Now, <clears throat> let's let's figure this out. Now you, you can't. There's nothing you can do. It just doesn't. They don't snap in. I don't care what the book says. They don't snap in. So here is gears with his sword and. Whatever the hell that is. A blast shield? <clears throat> I don't know. And he's even got his other gun. <clears throat> which is right here. <laughs> so that looks funny. But, alright. He's armorized. I mean, that is what... You know, the legs, we can't figure it out. And we'll just show you from different angles. And here's the back. Um, so, you know, I wish there was a way we could have done it, but like I said, these pegs aren't long enough and you have this part of the foot sticking out. Uh, well, let's, nah, there's, there's nothing you can do. So, even if you try swapping them, it's not going to work. But like I said, you can put them on the feet. So, you know, maybe he can walk on lava now, which is pretty cool. That's uh, something you might need to know in the future. And, and that is it for the armorizing of gears. And just to show you, we're going to whip out the booklet again. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, that is what the armorizer looks like. 
I just wish this was possible, but it's not. Okay, <clears throat> and now let's get our shard back into robot mode. <clears throat> and then this review will be finished. And I think once I have all the <clears throat> rock lords, I doubt I'm going to get Magnus together. But I think I'm going to do a review <clears throat> on different ways of doing the armor. That's going to be a whole new video. So, now, you want these specs sticking toward each other. <clears throat> because that's how they go. So, we're just going to put this on and put this on. I'm even going to take Cup. Studio Series Cup. And we are going to switch out all the arms and legs and stuff. And that'll be fun. But not in this video. You'll have to come back. Well, you know, we can keep that. So, let's do the arms. Let's see. This arm... <clears throat> okay, the, the side without the bolt, the screw, or the peg showing goes there. Let's take the gun out. Elbows the right way. <clears throat> Tail can go here. It does click into place. I guess there's a tab there, and it fits in there. And <clears throat> we'll put this here. <clears throat> and final thoughts. All right, uh, the pluses are, let's see, they brought the light piping back, which is pretty cool. But they did leave a lot on the design floor with the, the tail and the way he comes apart. I mean, those weaponizers and the armor and the weaponizers and the modulators and those old things, you could, every bit piece you use, you use the chest, you use the feet, you use the arms, you use the legs, the waist, everything. But these armorizers, you're not using too much. But that's not bad. So we're going to put these back here. We'll put two of the swords there. And like I said, you can either use them. Oh, you can't even put the sword in his hand. Oh, that stinks. You would think you can hold this, hold this like a sword. But you can't. <clears throat> So, that's just the way they made them. Not too bad. I mean, you can always do this. You can always put this there, this there, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, that kind of, they put this extra, if they didn't put that extra square peg in there, you could have easily, um, uh, he could hold it like a sword. So there's a lot of pluses, a lot of minuses. I mean, in helicopter, if this was a regular transformer, I think he'd be pretty cool. I like the colors. I like the texture, um, the light piping, all that good stuff. You know, he's not perfect. I don't know why they took a step back when they made these armorizers. I guess they're running out of eyes, eyes, errs, modulators. Fossilizers, weaponizers, and now armorizers, which really, you know, maybe I'll play with this on another figure and see what they look like. But all in all, that's going to be this review. So if you like the channel, please set like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Uh, if you want to become a channel member, I've got 99 cents and $1.99 tiers. They don't have anything yet, but if you just want to help the channel, Hey, either one time 99 or 9 cents a month helps me a lot. These figures are not getting cheaper. They're getting more expensive. And plus, I don't do this as a... I have a normal day job in the... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm in the forensics field, which I know I keep saying I'm going to do that videos, but maybe, maybe I'll do one soon. So like, subscribe, Transformers. We do Funko Pops, new toy sightings. Uh, if there's a link below to buy this guy between um, Amazon or entertainment earth feel free to do so like subscribe and we'll catch you later rodimus bill out okay, if you stuck around to the end i want to show you one more thing a little bonus figure stand there is a little port right there which fits your average i guess flight stand or figure stand or something and you just put that right there and there you go now you've got a stand for all your stop motion your slow motion all your photography needs. All right, thanks. See you next time.